everyone, this is Elena Krauss and welcome to another Hero Arts card video. In this video, we're going to make a fun Halloween card using the spider web uh, bold prints. Besides the spider web bold prints, I'll be using the Hero Critics Halloween and the Halloween um, icons of uh, fancy dies. Also, we're going to do some embossing on acetate card panels. So let's get started. We're going to make a shaker card. So I have my uh, circle infinity dice on the side there. So we're going to use that for our shaker piece. So uh, I'm using my Misty tool to stamp on the acetate and I will stamp one of the greetings from the Hero uh, Greetings Halloween stamp set. So I'm just positioning um, my acetate panel into the Misty and positioning that sentiment in the middle there. So next, uh, once we're done and when we're assembling the card, we're gonna just trim off the excess. So very important when using um, stamping on acetate and embossing is to use the anti-static powder tool because the acetate tends to get very static and attract a lot of unnecessary embossing powder where we don't want it to be. So another thing I wanted to mention is that um, these acetate panels um, are heat resistant, resistant, so you can boss on them. You can also use them if you have the glimmer uh, hot foil plates, you can use to hot foil on them. So the acetate is, as I mentioned, heat resistant. So I stamped the sentiment and I added some sparkle, black sparkle embossing powder and I heat set it. So you can see all the powder on top. I'm just using a soft cloth to wipe that off and it's perfectly clean. Okay, let's move um, to stamping on the panel that will in, uh, be in the background. So I'm using the spider web um, bolt prints. And first um, I stamp with black ink. Then you will notice that in just a little bit, I will switch, I'll stamp another panel using charcoal ink. So I just wanted to leave this uh, part here. Um, so you can see not everything goes perfectly, that if something doesn't match, just go and redo it. And you can save this panel for, or I can save this panel for later use. So here's when I realized that uh, that background, it was a little too dark for because our sentiment is on acetate and it's also embossed in black. So they were kind of blending together. So in the meantime, before I stamp another panel, I'm just using a piece of plum cardstock and one of the circle infinity dies to create window for the shaker. My uh, plum piece of cardstock measures four by five and a quarter. So here you can see how dark that background is. So I'm pulling, uh, I had my stamp left in the Misty and I cut another panel, which is A2, five and a half by four and a quarter into the Misty and I will stamp with charcoal ink. This is uh, dark gray, but it's not as dark as the black. So it creates a little bit more contrast. Okay, I stamp a couple of times. I think that looks better. And I'll put some glitter in there so that will lighten up that background too. So I'm just, because I stamp a couple of times, I'm just drawing this one with my heat tool because the shadow ink, uh, it tends to lighten once dry. I just wanted to make sure that everything looks nice. Okay, I think that looks good. And I want that sentiment to be in the middle. You can see there I have leftover on uh, the side of that plum panel. We're gonna trim that in just a little bit when we assemble the card. Next, I'm cutting pieces from the Glitter Basic um, cardstock. I'll do the cat and the bat, and then I have the big pot from Peach Black. And again, this is the Halloween Icons Fancy Die Set. So for the little cat, I, I cut another piece of the cat using Kiwi cardstock, which is light green. And it's a tape on the back of the head. I'll just pull out the eyes, eyes from that Kiwi cardstock and uh, adhere them. So the eyes don't look like little holes. 
So I'm just, just using a little pickup tool here that has sticky tip to pick that eyes and put them on the head. And since I had the tape on the back, that will stay put. Now I'm just positioning the all the elements to see how that will look. I think that looks good. So now let's start assembling that shaker window. I'm adding a double-sided tape on back of the shaker piece, that window piece, and I will add the acetate piece on top there. So I'm positioning that acetate sheet. I have a grid mat on, you can also use grid paper to make sure that it's nice, centered and straight. So now I'm just trimming the excess of the acetate. Okay, I think that looks good. Next I'm trimming uh, the back piece, the spiderweb bolt print stamped one, to four by five and a quarter because that was A2 size. So we can adhere those together and they layer nicely. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm adding some foam tape because you need to have some dimension if you create a shaker car card. You can also go without the shaker, just have the window and directly onto the spider web if you don't wanna add the shaker pieces or glitter or anything like that. So I'm just adding there some in the corners. and trimming the excess with my scissors. I'm making sure that there are no, no gaps so that glitter doesn't go out of our shaker piece or out of our card. Okay, I think that looks good. And I have two um, jars of chunky glitter. One is the snowfall, the other one is icicle. One is iridescent, iridescent the other one one it's white. So I'm just adding some in the center. And then I had in my stash little star, like tiny little star uh, glitter. So I added a few pieces of that. And then I will add the background piece on the back. And with this, our shaker piece is done. We have left to adhere the elements, the pot, the cat, and uh, the bat. So the pot, I'm using the Hero uh, Arts Precision Glue. And for the cat and the bat, I will add foam tape because I wanted to add a little bit more dimension. I'm gonna add a tiny piece on back of the bat. Okay, now we're ready to adhere those to our shaker panel. Okay, we're almost done here. So now I created a top folding note card using peach black cardstock. I took a, I cut a piece of four and a quarter by 11, I scored at five and a half. So that creates a top folding um, note card. And then adhere that shaker piece. To finish off the card, I decided to add some black enamel dots. Those are from the neutrals enamel dots pack. Just added three on the left and three on the right side. Okay, this finishes our card for today. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the Hero Arts YouTube channel. Also visit the blog for more ideas and more inspiration. Thanks for watching. Bye.